everyone, Matt Tursick, Seth Murphy. It is like 95 degrees. Just a week ago, we were complaining about the uh, crappy weather. Yeah. Mother Nature has come back in full force and we're gonna sweat this one out. We're at 4440 Upper Drive. Fantastic new construction in Lake Oswego. I think it's 3,583 square feet, priced at 1.9 million. We're excited to take a look. Stepping right into the entryway, you start out very light and bright. You have an office off the entry. You have 10 foot ceilings throughout the first floor, eight foot doorways, and it opens up to this gigantic living space, dining room, kitchen combo. And Matt refreshing himself with a bang about. energy. What the builder's done here is he subdivided an acre parcel into three home sites. So this is the first site that was completed. I was very interested to see how this turned out because it's not oriented like a traditional home in the sense you have a backyard. It's more so all oriented toward the side yard right here. A lot of greenery. You might even get a peekaboo view of the lake. The cool part is the builders planned out the next home with this in mind. So he's doing a one level with a daylight basement on that last home site. So it won't even obstruct the view from this home. And then walking into the kitchen, you have this really nice dining area, beautiful light fixtures. It's all very tastefully done. All right, and now coming out to this patio, you got this beautiful outlook as Matt was talking about. You have a hookup ready for a TV, two heaters, it's nice and covered. Wonderful built-in fire pit over here. They really gave you a lot of space to entertain, have guests over, and just really enjoy it if you have kids, pets, anything. Coming into the kitchen area, it's uh, beautifully built with tons of built-ins. You have a stainless steel Sub-Zero Wolf Range, beautiful backsplash that they brought all the way up. All right, the rich millwork on the ceiling is probably one of my favorite parts. I love the quartz countertops. I like how they did almost like a onyx gray cabinetry on the bottom and then it goes to the white cabinets up top they bring the cabinets all the way to the ceiling on the way to the guest suite you have your garage entrance here in this nice mud room you have your pantry attached to it you know a nice cubby space underneath this bench that you can put your shoes in and whatnot and then you're in your guest suite that has a full attached bathroom to it and then they have this nice outlook onto another side yard coming up you have very nice wood treads all the way up you uh, get here to carpet landing which is in the halls beautiful double doors opening to a nice big spacious master suite. You have coffered ceilings, nice bank of windows with that territorial view. Before I show you this grand master bathroom, Matt's gonna talk a little bit about this side room. <laughs> well, it is a nice little side area. It's set up as a sitting area right now. Could be a nice library, nursery, reading room, or a secondary office space. So really like how they incorporated this into the floor plan. Coming over to the master bath, you have this enormous sliding barn door. I love, oh, you see that? Has auto under cab lighting, very grand master shower with a rainfall shower head, you know, freestanding tub that wins out to the territorial views, a lot of natural light coming in here. A big enough closet to have a second library, second nursery, second work from home space. All right, now coming on to this bathroom that is for the two bedrooms over here. You got a bunch of natural light coming in from upper, large shower, I like how they brought the tile up and then switched once you got above shower height. Yeah, you do have your two secondary bedrooms up here, plus a nice bonus space, which is crucial. One of the things I wanted to touch on though was the window placement in this room. Throughout the whole house, they've done a really good job of strategically placing all the windows so it minimizes maybe any unsightly views. So this is Seth's room, the nursery. He does have a nice big uh, walk-in closet over here. This is at the front of the house. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in to this Tuesday's Tuesday Tour. I'm Seth. This is Matt. We appreciate the love and support. Let us know what you want to see. If you guys have any requests, just shoot us a call, text, or DM. If you have any questions about this home, call, text, DM. Matthew? Yeah. See you guys next week.